The BMP51 printer is available in a hard casing that comes equipped with the following accessories. Place your thumb in the finger groove and push up to open the printer cover. Press the grey button to eject the empty cartridge. With the cartridge label facing up, drop the new cartridge into the cartridge well and push down gently. Close the cover by pushing down on it until it snaps into place. Press Label Type and select General. You can change the font size by pressing Font and select the desired size. The text can be changed to uppercase or lowercase by pressing Function and then press Font. You can change it back with the same steps. Enter the text. Press Print Preview to see how the label would look like. Then press print if you are satisfied with it. Push down the cutter levers to cut the label and apply the label onto the item. Press Label Type and select Vial. Choose the vial size. The length of the print depends on the vial size. The smaller the size of the vial, the shorter the length of the print. Input Text. Press Enter to input a second line of text. Press Print Preview to see how the label would look like. Then press print if you are satisfied with it. Push down the cutter lever to cut the label and stick it onto the vial. Press Label Type and select Flag. Navigate to the radio button of the desired layout and press Enter. If continuous media is installed, navigate to the Flag Length field and enter the length of the flag. Go to the Cable Diameter field and enter the diameter of the wire cable to which the flag will be applied. Select OK and press Enter. Enter the text. Check the print preview. And press Print. Push down on the cutter lever to cut the label and stick it onto the cable. Press Label Type and select Terminal Block. Navigate to the Serialize option box and press Enter to select the option. If you do not intend to serialize Terminal Block, just leave it unchecked. Navigate to the Separator field and, from the drop-down list, select the Separator. Go to the Orientation field and, from the drop-down list, select the desired layout. Navigate to the Terminal Repeat field and indicate the size of the gap between each terminal. When finished, select OK and press Enter. Complete the serialization values and proceed to OK and press Enter. The number of terminal blocks are created as areas on one label. 
with the serialization characters displayed in each area. Input more text if necessary. Check the print preview. Press print. Push down on the cutter lever to cut the label and stick it onto the terminal block. Press label type and select wire marker. Choose the wire size and press enter. Enter the text. As you enter data, the data is repeated down the label. The font size is set to auto, but can be changed as desired. Check the print preview. Press print. Push down on the cutter lever to cut the label and stick it onto the cable.